Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be using graph theory to prove a result in arithmetic. So the result we'll be proving is as follows. Suppose that the positive integers are colored with finitely many colors. So over here I have an example where I use three colors. The claim is that there is always a monochromatic solution to x plus y equals z. So this means that x, y, and z are of the same color. Note that x and y need not be distinct. So in this example here, for example, we have 2, 6, and 8 all of green color and 2 plus 6 equals to 8. This result is known as Schur's theorem. Before we prove this theorem, we will first prove a result that is a typical result in Ramsey theory. So this is where the graph theory part comes in. So we have the following lemma. Given any integer r greater than or equal to 1, there exists some integer n such that if the edges of the complete graph kn are colored with r colors, then there will always be a monochromatic triangle. So for example, if r equals to 2 where we have two colors, then I claim that actually n equals to 6 uh, will work. I think uh, this might be a result that is familiar from graph theory. So if the edges of the complete graph K6 are colored with two colors, there will always be a monochromatic triangle. So this is just for illustration purposes. Now we prove the lemma for general R. The way we will prove this lemma, not surprisingly, is by induction on R. So for the base case R equals 1, we can simply choose N equals to 3, where we have the edges of K3, which is a triangle, colored with one color, of course, there will always be a monochromatic triangle. So now suppose that we are proving the result for R, and we have already proven the lemma for R minus 1, where N prime is the value of N that works. Now I claim that I can take N equals to this expression here, and this value of N will work for R. To prove this, we consider any coloring and let us pick a vertex V, any vertex. Now, out of all the other R n prime minus 1 plus 1 edges that are incident to V, we can use pigeonhole principle to conclude that there exists at least n prime edges of the same color. So, so yeah, without loss of generality, let's call that color green. And let the vertices that are of green edges to V uh, be called V0. Now, there are two cases. Firstly, if there exists a green edge among the vertices in V0, then we are done because it will close up to form a green triangle. But otherwise, among the uh, edges in V0, all the all the edges are only using the remaining r minus one colors, and we are talking about n prime vertices minimally uh, inside v naught. So by the induction hypothesis, there will be a monochromatic triangle among the vertices in v naught. So this proves the lemma, and right now we can use this to prove Schur's theorem. Just to recap, Schur's theorem says that if the positive integers are colored with finitely many colors then there is always a monochromatic solution to x plus y equals z. So we let r be the number of colors, and we let n be the integer from the previous lemma. I claim that actually we don't have to look at the whole string of positive integers. In fact, if we look at any coloring of 1 to n minus 1, I will always be able to find a monochromatic solution to x plus y equals z. So to do this, let us be given any coloring of 1 to n minus 1. For concreteness, I let phi be the function that maps uh, the integer to the color. What we do is we consider a complete graph with n vertices uh, labeled v0 to vn minus 1. And on this complete graph, how will I assign the coloring to the edges? Well, for the edge between vi and vj, where i is less than j, 
I'll assign it the color that is corresponding to the integer j minus i. So we can check that j minus i will always be between uh, will always be from 1 to n minus 1. So the color of the edge is well defined. Now we can apply the lemma that we have uh, proven earlier to conclude that there will exist a monochromatic triangle. So say the monochromatic triangle is between vi, vj, and vk, where i less than j less than k. Well, then the edge here is the color for the integer j minus i, the edge here is the color for the integer k minus j, and the edge here is the color for integer k minus i. And these are all of the same color. But notice that j minus i plus k minus j is equal to k minus i. And these three integers we have just said are of the same color. So therefore, I have just proven that uh, this coloring has given us a monochromatic solution to x plus y equals z. So that is all for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Have a Merry Christmas and this will probably be the last video of 2020. So stay tuned and look forward to more videos on mathematics in 2021.